Hey there, I'm Ken. This is Canadian Retro Things. Welcome. It is time for me to upgrade my Coco Fest Coco 3. When I got home from my cabin, there were a few goodies waiting for me here. They include a new keyboard PCB for my Coco 3 from Rick Uland. Now, you may have seen me put one of those in one of my computers already, but this one has an extra little piece, which I'll be showing off. And I also got a 6309 and a capacitor set from Retro Rewind. So I suppose you can guess what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be popping that Coco 3 open and I am going to be upgrading, future proofing, and just generally having fun with that computer. But before I get to doing that, I have to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video without whom a lot of these videos would not be possible, PCB Way. PCB Way, home of the $5 for 10 PCBs deal. If that isn't reason enough to check them out, then how about the fact that you have until December 31st, 2022 to enter the 5th PCB Way PCB Design Contest. Submit your project and you'll be evaluated on the completeness of the project info, the realization of the project, the technical innovation of the project, and the social value. You could win one of many great prizes. You even get something for entering. So check out the PCB Way website for contest rules and prizes. First thing that I have to do before I bring out the computer is open up the box that I got from Retro Rewind. And wrapped up inside of this stuff, which would be really good fire starter if I were at my cabin. Oh, well wrapped up. I have two 6309 CPUs. One is for this project and one is for another project soon to come. And capacitor set for my Color Computer 3. Let's get that Coco 3 out and start work on it. If you're changing the capacitors on the Color Computer 3, you'll notice that each capacitor has a circle around it with a dot on one side. That dot is the positive side of the capacitor. However, I have seen on some old electronics where the circuit board has been printed wrong and that is not the way the capacitor goes in. So always double check the way that they have it on the board. I don't see any that are in opposite to how the board is printed on the Color Computer 3, but I will let you know when I have finished. I've got everything ready to go to start replacing the capacitors, which is the first job I am going to do here. I have uh, all of the new capacitors sorted out into sizes. So I guess the uh, only thing to do is fire up the soldering station. Maybe turn the power on first. There we go. And wait for that to warm up and I can start soldering. Fifth capacity. 
capacitor we ran into one little problem and that is right here you can see a piece of the trace came off with it so that little piece of copper that came off runs from the capacitor here it's right there you can see where it came off going to here so I will put a little bodge wire on the back going from the capacitor to there so time to do that here is the bodge wire that I put on I did film that but well my camera decided not to work this has not been a good day for doing anything my camera keeps intermittently not working my microphone stopped working I ran out of flux um, I've been having some problems with my soldering iron yeah so unfortunately this video is not going to be out during Septandi like I hoped it would but I am going to get it done as quick as I can it's many weeks later and I'm ready to get back to this project but first an update on everything that's gone wrong I've bought some new supplies where I need it now I mostly use my phone for a camera and well my phone is crap and the camera is still a bit flaky sometimes when I hit record it records for about five seconds then it shuts off I did erase and reinstall everything on it so it's not happening as much but I'm totally going back to an iPhone as soon as I can as for my soldering iron I did a Taylor and Amy fix on it I took it apart could see nothing wrong put it back together and it works again now this is the capacitor that goes in C24 it is the only non polarized cap on the board so I cannot stress this enough make sure you put the proper type of capacitor in C24 now that all the capacitors have been changed it's time to remove the 6809 now my goal today is to get it out without having to cut the legs like I did with the last one also I did have a little bit of trouble with some more of the traces while removing the capacitors a couple of them did start to lift slightly but I did get them out without completely lifting them so I'm thinking this board seems to be having a lot of problems with that and uh, yeah I don't think the troubles are gonna stop at the capacitors we'll see what happens with the 6809 one way that was shown to me to help get the uh, chip out of the board is by heating the chip legs up from the chip side of the board and using the sucker on the other side so I am trying that here now with the 6809 removed from the board without cutting any legs I might add I have to solder the socket into place hey there it's Ken sitting in front of my computer editing this video now I had wanted to release this video all as one video but it looks like it's going to be massively long because I'm only about halfway through everything and there's still a lot to go so I've decided to break it up into two parts and now this is the perfect spot to uh, stop because I'm about to have another massive camera failure which is annoying but this is also the point where this Coco 3 starts making me question my own reality it starts driving me a little bit bonkers so I hope you enjoyed this video 
If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated and helps out the channel a lot. And I hope you'll join me for part two of this video where you can see me gently slip into madness. All right, well, I hope to see you then. Bye for now.